Hello, Internet, and welcome back to another episode of Can It Run on the Steam Deck. My name is James, and today we are going to be looking at Halo Infinite running on the Steam Deck. Um, I actually recorded a video on this last week, um, but things are changing so rapidly that the instructions needed to get this game up and running are now null and void. Um, luckily, um, it's a lot easier to get this game up and running. Um, currently, it is listed as um, unsupported, but um, if you go to your little cog settings here and go to properties and change uh, your compatibility to force a specific Steam Play compatibility tool, um, that's a bit of a mouthful, um, if you select Proton Experimental from your drop-down list, you should see, like, there's a bunch here, but uh, go with the Experimental um, version, and then you'll notice as you hit play here, um, the game will actually launch, which is uh, great. Um, I've been playing this a fair bit um, over the past couple of days, and um, this was one game that I really enjoy playing that I'm now happy I can play on Steam Deck. Um, one other little pro tip. Um, if you have this half rate shading turned on, uh, for some reason, um, you'll notice that the menu text is extremely blurry. Um, this can be alleviated by unchecking that. Uh, you'll kind of notice the resolution kind of improves. Um, once you have that half rate shading turned off. So, um, yeah, make sure you have that turned off. Um, as far as my settings, uh, I've set everything to, there's a 96% on the resolution scale. I just found it kind of helped a little bit with a more steady uh, frame rate. Uh, my minimum and maximum have both been set to 60. My V-Sync is on. Um, I've limited this inactive frame rate, um, which is fine. And my quality setting I've set to medium and just kind of left it as is. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the campaign available in Steam. I do have that on my Game Pass subscription, like I think many of us. Um, so it's a bit of a shame that I can't uh, dive into the campaign through Steam. but. Multiplayer is free, and um, your progression does carry over if you log in with your Xbox um, account. Um, I'm going to hop into a game of Big Team Battle, because that's probably the like worst-case scenario in terms of you know stuff happening on the screen and openness of a map. Um, yeah, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, it seems that um, they're making some improvements with this title specifically, because when I tried it about a week ago with some of the hacks, um, the performance wasn't as good as it is now, and um, I was seeing a lot of like graphical like glitching and artifacts, um, which don't seem to be present um, as of this recording. Um, so I don't know if uh, Microsoft's working behind the scenes to get this game deck verified, but it seems uh, from the improvements that I've seen, it seems like someone's uh, making an effort um, to get this game running as it should on the deck. Um, just a thing to note, this is loading off of an SD card, so it's probably, again, the worst case kind of scenario in terms of performance and loading, but um, honestly, I haven't noticed um, many issues in, uh, in playing this. So we're just gonna load into a game here. Um, the frame rate is in the top right corner. Um, I can enable some more metrics here. Uh, just so you can see that frame graph. Um, I typically don't play with this frame graph enabled, um, or even the frame counter. Um, if I've played a few rounds and noticed that the frame rate is stable enough, I'll just turn it off because uh, 
sometimes you spend more time looking at that frame rate than you do playing the actual game. Um, so performance-wise, from what I've noticed, like smaller maps will be a pretty locked 60. Um, these larger ones, there's little dips here and there. Um, but if the if the frame rate counter wasn't on, I don't think I'd notice. Um, in saying that, uh, this is a new map that I don't think I've played, and it's having a little bit of a trouble keeping up with 60. Um, the enemy is capturing his own. So we're kind of in like the 40s here. Which, um, what I might suggest is locking it to, um, 40 frames on the refresh rate and the, the frame rate. Um, actually, we could probably do that right now. So if we take our refresh rate down to 40, and then the frame rate limit to 40, uh we should have a lot smoother experience. Um, again, you could lower some of the settings. I'm playing on medium right now. Uh, low would probably make these larger maps feel slightly better. Um, the one large map I played seemed to, to be fine at 60. Um, this map seems to be struggling a bit, which is... Uh, which is good, because this is probably, again, worst, worst case scenario here. Um, I think it might be good. I hate leaving games in the middle of a game, but uh, it might be good to kind of show um, just a normal multiplayer map and get a sense of performance there, too. So I'm gonna bump these back up to 60 again. And, uh... Actually, you know what we could do? We could go to training mode. Um... And we'll pick... Uh, this is a pretty wide open map. Obviously loading uh, just in a training mode is going to be a lot quicker than searching for a, an online game. Um, but you can see loading is very, very quick. Okay. So yeah, for most maps, from my experience, what I've noticed, um, we get a pretty steady 60. Um, and this has been perfectly playable. Still getting used to um, to using a controller with first-person shooters. Um, not the most easiest thing, uh, especially when you're used to a mouse and keyboard. Yeah, it's uh, the game looks great, and um, for the most part, other than you know a few of the larger maps, um, frame rate seems to hold up. No scope. No scope. Um, yeah, Halo's, um, Halo's a fun game. Um, I like it because it's a little more casual than, you know, some of the other shooters. Um, I can find, I can 
hold my own um, in these games, even on a controller. Um, uh. When in doubt, uh, switch to your pistol and pray for best. sure did. Um, yeah, I mean, I could continue playing Halo, but um, I think that kind of gives you a snapshot of uh, how this game performs. Um, maybe I'll jump into one more big team battle. Um, hopefully it's the other map. Because that, that seemed to not have uh, as many issues in terms of frame depths. Um, so yeah, I would say 80% of the time your frame rate's going to be fine at medium settings. Um, of course, you can make tweaks as needed uh, to alleviate uh, some of those dips, but... Um, I'm just happy this game is running uh, fairly well, uh, given uh, it's currently listed as unsupported. So I, I think um, there's only kind of more room for improvement. Capture the flag. Capture enemy flags to score. Yeah, different map. Um, but I can already tell that um, the frame rate's going to hold up a little bit better. You'll, yeah, you'll get these little kind of dips. Um, and again, you can you can lock it to forty um, and still have a great time. As I get rammed by a car here. For a casual shooter like Halo, um, this is this is pretty great. Considering um, the OG Xbox One uh, looks worse than this, and I think the frame rate there is 30 frames per second. So the fact that um, I can play this game on the go um, with better settings than the OG uh, Xbox One is pretty great. All right, well, with that said, um, I will end this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if there's any games you'd like me to check out or um, cover in the future, feel free to leave a comment in the uh, section below. Um, yeah, until next time, uh, thanks for watching and have a good night.